Okay guys, we're back now. We are getting ready to show you how we dissolve the lye in water. Um, I'm using all water this batch. Some people are gonna, this is where the goat milk comes in. Um, but you can use basically any liquid. I've used wine, I've used flat beer, I've used juices, um, you know, use your imagination. You can do a lot of different things. So I put my container on and these are just uh, dollar store plastic bowls that I found. Uh, I've had these for over 20 years um, and I've not had any issues whatsoever. And I'm going to measure in my distilled water and some people choose to use rainwater, purified water, um, you can use just about any kind of water. Um, filtered. I would caution you against using tap waters just because of the things that are in the tap water. But I know people that use tap water that have been successful. Um, when I first started, tap water was one of the things that um, people thought could be, could contribute to uh, dreaded orange spots. And that's kind of a rancid uh, when the soap starts to go rancid and it usually happens very quickly it's not a time issue but um, I've never had any issues with that I think primarily because I do use distilled water um, I want to since you can't see me I just want to let you know that I do have on my safety glasses I have done this so long I don't use gloves anymore um, I have been lucky not to have any issues, but I'm really, really careful. Um, another thing is uh, some people would do the next step into a separate bowl. Um, I have never done that. Well, no, I did when I first started because I was afraid. But now this is my container of lye, and it's just broken down into a plastic container. Uh, container from the 50 pound bag that I get it from the chemical company and I'm just measuring out again my digital scale is on and I am measuring out the amount of lye that goes in here and lye you may know sodium uh, hydroxide is a very uh, um, it's a bad chemical <laughs> uh, it's the chemical that are used in some crime shows where they dissolve the body, the, the body in a vat of lye. So it, it's kind of funny that this really harsh chemical, that when it's added to water, this gets really hot, really fast, um, makes a nice gentle soap. Uh, again, it's in the right proportion for the oils that I've already measured out. So I'm going really slow now because I'm reaching my the amount that I need. So I'm there. So I just want to put a thermometer in here quick so we can see the water was room temperature when I started and let's just see what's happening here not much so the water is still room temperate but I'm gonna mix this up and you'll see how fast now guys, this is also, uh, some people are going to want to do this outside. Some people, like if you have kids, definitely outside, nice moving. Um, so here, so here we have all the pots of the dissolved lye uh, ready to go. Honestly, these two are still dissolving. Uh, they're kind of cloudy. I don't know that you can 
see that this one say compared to this one uh, so those just have a few more minutes and then all of my pots with the oils ready to be melted and that's what I'm just getting ready to do but once I turn the heat on I need to turn my vent fans on so I just wanted to show you that beforehand and during the cook I will um, have the camera above one of the pots periodically so you can see the different stages that the soap goes through in the cooking process so stay tuned <laughs> 